when I tell you, you put this on and automatically you already look 20 times more stylish than you did before. They look at me funny when I write a check, cause most of these bitches is paying in sex. He dialed my number and call and collect, but I was running just like a Corvette. A lady of leisure forever a threat, who never compete, who never forget. I'm giving my all and I never neglect. If you show me equivalent respect, I later right out to my hideout in the Hi guys, it's me Kayla and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about all things baggy jeans because if you are on the internet, walking down the street anywhere in 2024, you know that baggy jeans are it in the fashion world. We have moved past the days of skinny jeans, mom jeans, straight leg jeans, boyfriend jeans, whatever you want to call them. And we have entered a new era. Um, baggy jeans are literally everywhere right now. I wear them all the time. Literally every single outfit that I wear features baggy jeans. So I figured why not make a video about it? I'm gonna talk a little bit about the origins, how people are currently styling them, how I personally style, style them, and places where you can find them and where I like to buy my baggy jeans from. So if you're interested in learning more about that, stay tuned for the rest of the video. So let's start with the origins of baggy jeans. Although jeans have been popular since the early 1900s, baggy jeans didn't really gain popularity until the 90s, especially due to hip hop culture. Obviously, a lot of things were becoming more oversized, more baggy, and the 90s was overall more of a relaxed period for fashion. And you can see that throughout all the movies and photos from that time period. Like people were very into just relaxed, not doing too much in their clothing, especially coming out of the era of the 80s where everything was super flashy and over the top, like structured, like shoulder padded blazers, bright colors, all of that. It was definitely a big shift for the time period. So looking back on that time period, some of the biggest inspirations for baggy jeans for women during that time would be Aaliyah and TLC. You can definitely see throughout all the pictures of them in their everyday lives and their performances that big oversized was the thing and that's why i still look back to them as a reference for my own style today especially Aaliyah, just because i feel like she's really like an inspirational point for the girls that wear like baggy jeans with tims baggy jeans with sneakers little top baggy jeans that whole look it's literally her as a person and we still see that influence today. We also see a lot of influence from rappers back in that time period, especially in men's fashion. You could literally take a picture of any man in the 90s and find somebody today that is wearing an outfit that's almost identical. So 90s was definitely a pivotal point for baggy jeans. Moving into the early 2000s, we're still into baggy jeans. We still see rappers rocking the baggy jeans, especially people like Soldier Boy. Like, I think there's literally a picture of him with jeans that are so gigantic. Just all the rappers as a whole, very baggy. You could think of like 50 Cent. I'm like drawing a blank right now, but all of them. I'll insert some pictures. But yes, all the men wearing super baggy jeans. As for the women, I feel like during that time period, we were moving more into the low rise flare jean look. Everybody wanted their little booty to be popping, form fitting, but still flare, which is super cute. I still wear low rise flare jeans, but I think that in today's age, even though both trends are coming back with the flare and the baggy jeans, I think baggy jeans are a little bit easier for people to ease into. Cause you know, people are still like, I don't know about low rise jeans. I don't know if I can wear super form fitting jeans, but you know, everything comes back around. So we'll see if more people get into low-rise flare. But they're definitely both, and right now I just think baggy is a little bit more popping. Moving into the 2010s, we see the disappearance of baggy jeans, of um, flare jeans, all that. We're moving into skinny jeans, super high-waisted, like form-fitting jeans. Even in men's fashion, we had rappers like Kanye West that really influenced people to start wearing slimmer jeans, like the new boys, like et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the skinny jeans period was definitely a time. I think that we all had skinny jeans. I know I had a ton of skinny jeans and I rocked them. It was cute at the time. And people can still wear skinny jeans. I know that that's a controversial statement. I personally wouldn't do it, but I feel like if you still 
have your skinny jeans and you enjoy wearing them and you feel comfortable and confident in them, then who's stopping you from wearing them? And you can still pull off a cute outfit with the skinny jeans. But yeah, in the 2010s, like you were really not seeing people wearing super baggy oversized pants. Like that just was not it. Like it was skinny or nothing. But I think it was crazy like when people were wearing the skinny jeans with like Jordans and stuff. That was wild. That was so wild. That silhouette does not, it does not work anymore. But yeah, um, 2010s was definitely heavy on the form fitting vibes. Now let's fast forward to 2020 when everything kind of started to go downhill in the world. I feel like during that time, fashion on TikTok became really more popular because all of the people that were into fashion, even me, a lot of people began posting what they wear. And I feel like those people were already aware of the fact that the 90s and early 2000s fashion was coming back. So they're posting that on social media. So then it's reaching more people. And with that, you see more people wearing baggy jeans, like little top baggy jeans, oversized top baggy jeans, both men and women, everybody is wearing baggy jeans. So I feel like that type of fashion really gained popularity then. And with that, we started seeing more instances of baggy jeans on the runway, in fast fashion stores, in everything. Like even on Depop, like the market for baggy jeans has gone up significantly. And it's really interesting to see. But with that, I think that everybody kind of has an obsession with nostalgia just because I feel like everybody's like, oh, I wanna go back to when times are simpler. Or we look to media during that time, celebrities, movies, everything. And we're like, oh, I wanna live that life. I wanna have that aesthetic. So I think that's another reason why all these trends come back around. But yeah, you definitely see baggy jeans in designer fashion now. Some brands that I can think of as an example would be like Acme Studios. Like if you've seen their collaboration with Kylie Jenner, like when she modeled for them, like their jeans are insane, like super baggy. I want a pair eventually, but I ain't got the money for that right now. Balenciaga, everything with them is super oversized. It's actually like wild, but they're problematic. So that's another story. Um, On top of that, there's like fast fashion companies that are super into baggy jeans as well, like Jaded London, all that. Baggy jeans are definitely in their prime right now, more so than ever. And I feel like I'm even starting to see older people from older generations rocking baggy jeans, even if they're not to the fullest extent of like super low rise oversized. Like you see, um, for example, like the free people balloon jeans. I feel like a lot of like millennials are wearing those and that's kind of like a way to ease into baggy jeans. Oh my God, you can see my pajama pants y'all. Let's ignore that. But yeah, um, baggy jeans are definitely full force running right now. So now let's talk about where to find inspiration for your baggy jeans. For me, the number one thing is always gonna be Pinterest. I'm literally insane when it comes to my Pinterest. I have everything categorized. I have a personal style board that's literally separated by fall fits, spring fits, jeans, um, going out outfits, spring outfits like heels this blah, 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 any type of category coats anything that you can think of i have it separated so i would advise going on pinterest specifically making a board or a category for jeans and if you are looking to find the perfect pa pair of baggy jeans just go and start pinning pictures that you're drawn to and then i saw this tiktok i cannot remember the girl's name but basically she gave a tip of like making your jeans board and then looking at the key th features of every single jean, like how the crotch drapes, how it drapes over the shoe and take that into account when you're going to shop for jeans. So whether you're shopping online or whether you're going in store on trying, whether you're going to the thrift store or whether you're buying a pair and planning on getting it altered, you have these noted. So that way it doesn't really feel like, oh, I'm just buying this because it looks good on her. Like you've compiled all the features that you are naturally drawn to. So then you can get a pair that really fits nicely on you. So that's like one of the biggest ways to get inspiration, not only for styling, but also for fit of the jeans. Next thing I would say is looking at Vogue Runway. You can see how 
the outfits are styled on the runway. You can see like the different types of silhouettes of baggy jeans, how people are rocking them. Also just keeping up with like people that inspire you on social media. For me personally, I will always keep up with Miss Colleen Diaz because she's my biggest style inspiration. So I look to her a lot for the way that I dress. Like she inspires my style a lot. So I look to her. You can also um, just watch fashion YouTube videos like you're doing now to gain inspiration. There's so many different ways. Also just looking at people walking down the street and taking inspiration from that. But that's definitely how I would go about finding the inspo for the way you want your jeans to fit and the way you want to style your jeans. So now let's get into ways to wear and how I see people wearing them. The biggest way that I see people rocking baggy jeans right now, and I'm specifically gonna be talking about women in this video just cause it's easier for me to talk about, is definitely the oversized jean with the pointy heel. You know how PB and J goes together, how biscuits and honey go together, how fried chicken, collard greens, and mac and cheese go together. That is how baggy jeans and kitten heels go together. When I tell you, you put this on and automatically you already look 20 times more stylish than you did before, it's an automatic yes. And it's all about how the pants drape over the shoe. You just want that little point of the kitten heel or the boot that you're wearing to pop out just a little bit and it's it's chef's kiss. All the girlies are wearing this. You can go on any social media app. You can see any celebrity. You can go to any runway show. You're going to see this exact look. It's it's so good. Um, yeah, but baggy jean, pointy kitten heel, corset top, bralette top, oversized jersey top. Those are all the ways that I can think. Like there's so many ways. You can even make it a little bit more basic. Like you can do a plain white t-shirt, leather jacket, baggy jean, pointy heel, and automatically you're the chicest person walking in to anywhere. Anywhere, it's a no brainer. The next thing that I see people styling baggy jeans with is ballet flats or loafers. Um, first, with ballet flats, I feel like it's all about the juxtaposition that makes it really interesting to look at. And I think that ballet flats have really regained popularity over the past year, especially with the coquette aesthetic that's happening because everybody's into bows and everybody thinks that they're a ballerina for some reason. But it works. You can wear like a cutesy, cutesy little top like with some lace detailing, some bow detailing, a lot of pearls, like dainty jewelry, baggy jeans, and you have your little ballet flat peeking out. It's so cute. It's adorable. It's not gonna be as sexy as the pointy kitten heel, but if you feel like you're not into that and you wanna be a little bit more subdued and you just wanna come across as cute, go the ballet flat route. So freaking cute. It's so good. So freaking good. I personally have worn my baggy jeans with my ballet flats and I felt adorable and I got a lot of compliments on it. So I think that it's a really interesting way to spice up an outfit. And it's also a good option for those of you who don't really feel comfortable in walking in heels because I know it can be a lot to walk in heels every day if you're not used to it. And you can do pops of color, you can do printed ballet flats, you can do solid color ballet flats, you can do ones with rhinestone detailing. Like I've even seen like designer brands do this, like with the Alaya, um, I've seen girls wear like the Alaya ballet flats with the rhinestone studs with baggy jeans and it just peeks out a little bit and it's so good. You can do so much with the ballet flats. Very versatile, very cutesy and it's Kayla approved. As for the loafers, I feel like this is a way to rock baggy jeans if you're a little bit more of a classic person, somebody that wants to look timeless. I think finding the right shaped loafer, the right height with the baggy jeans. I wouldn't really, me personally, I wouldn't really do like a platform loafer with baggy jeans just because I don't really like the way that platform shoes look with baggier silhouettes. I think a flatter shoe looks better just because it peeks out a little bit. But I think it's a great way to incorporate classics with the baggy jeans. I've seen people like Colleen wear her baggy pants with loafers. Um, it's a way that you can wear it to work with loafers. Like if you 
or in a corporate setting, there's so many ways that you can do it. Super chic, it's like almost office siren-esque. Is that what they're calling it? Like that whole aesthetic where you look like you work in a corporate office, I don't know. But it's a super good way if you're a very classic person to rock loafers with your baggy jeans. The next way, it's gonna obviously be sneakers, but more specifically, sneaker heels. I know that sounds crazy. I know it's a little bit alarming, but I'm talking about like the nice sneaker heels, like the Martin Rose shocks specifically, where it's like kind of like a mule, but it's not like full on Isabel Moran sneaker heel. I think that any time I'm out and I see a girl with her Martin Rose shocks on and she has the baggy pant draping over it, whether it be the neon ones or just the plain black or the blue ones, it doesn't matter. It looks so good. It looks so freaking good. Even if you can't get the mules for that, I would say pairing it with like any type of shoe, like sneaker that kind of resembles a heel, like any type of Nike shock, anything within that region, it looks so freaking good. And you know, people also wear them with like their Sambas and stuff, but I feel like Sambas have kind of run their course. I mean, the Wales Bonner ones are really, really nice. Love any outfit that I see with those, but honestly, any type of flatter shoe or like half heel looking shoe in terms of sneakers looks so good with a baggy jean. You can never go wrong. And like I said before, you can wear it with every style of top. You can wear it with a button down, you can wear it with jersey, all that. So you can't go wrong with that. So next, I'm gonna talk about some of the places where I've gotten my baggy jeans from and where you guys can find baggy jeans. And I'll try to incorporate like a list of places in the caption that I think you guys would be interested in. For me personally, I think that the best way to get baggy jeans is to thrift them. Obviously, I know that it may seem easier to just go ahead and buy a new pair, but if you wanna save money and if you want something that's gonna be a little bit unique, I would say go dig, go thrift, go find something that is really unique and speaks to you. And if it doesn't fit you perfectly, you can always get it altered and it'll be cheaper than buying the new brand new pair of jeans. But for me personally, <laughs> I have bought jeans from actual stores. The first place being Jaded London, which I know it's like Jaded London girl, but they, if they have one thing on lock, it's definitely their pants. The jeans that I get from Jaded London are called the Colossus jeans. These are, they're like super baggy, low-waisted jeans. I have them here, um, you can see. These are so good. When I tell you these are probably my most worn jeans, I actually want to order them in black. And they just came out with a leopard print version, but I don't really know how I feel about that. But these are so good. If you're super um tiny in the waist like me, they are going to fit you a little bit oversized. I got mine in a size waist 24 and they're still kind of too big for me, but with the belt, it doesn't really matter. They fit low-waisted. The crotch on the pants is definitely a little bit lower, but I like that personally for myself. I feel like too, when you're shopping for low-rise jeans, you wanna make sure that you know how you want that to fit because if you're trying to like buy a high-waisted jean online and then buy it oversized and to make it fit you low-waisted, it might not fit the way that you want it to fit. So you wanna make sure that you're specifically looking for something that already fits low-rise and then you have to decide if you like it to be low-rise in the crotch or if you want it to be a little bit higher up in the crotch area or else it's not gonna sit right. But another reason I like these is because they're so wide, they drape very nicely over my shoes. So I would recommend, they're also very comfortable to wear and I get so much wear out of them. I have them in this color and I also have them in a sandy beige color as well. The next place that I have gotten baggy jeans from would be H&M. Um, I don't shop at H&M usually, but 
I will say that something that is slept on there is definitely their jeans. These gray ones that I have right here, I have worn them into the absolute ground. And the reason why I like them is because they are a little bit similar to like these acne jeans that I like that I cannot afford. So they're super cute. Um, these, I got them in a size two. I sized up on these just so that they fit even baggier because I really just like super baggy jeans. But these, I have worn them so much, running them into the ground. There was a time period where I was literally posting these almost every day. Like my washing machine was going to work, baby. But yeah, these are super cute. They have them in a ton of colors. They're called the, I think they're called the 90s regular baggy jean on the H&M website. They're about like $45, I wanna say. Oh, and for the pricing on the Jaded London jeans, they are like $100, I want to say. But I honestly think it's worth it because I wear these so freaking much. But yeah, my H&M jeans, I love these as well. I wear them so much. They're so cute, they're so good, and they have them in so many colors. And these are definitely a more affordable option if you don't wanna splurge on the Jaded London jeans. Next, we have Uniqlo. Um, these are the Uniqlo and Marnie collab jeans. These are definitely a pop of color, but I like these for that exact reason. These two, same situation, very low crotch and super baggy. Um, I've had these for about a year now. I don't reach for them as much, obviously, because the color is super blue, but these are very cute as well and I love. I know that um, Uniqlo does sell these in regular colors as well. They have like a light blue, a dark blue, all that. Um, these are really nice as well. I don't know the price point for like the Uniqlo baggy jeans, but I'll try to find an example and link them in the description. Next, we have these jeans from Addicted. Um, I don't really shop at Addicted. I literally only really went there to get these because I saw somebody on Pinterest with these pinstripe jeans and I was very inspired by that because I feel like they add a little statement to a basic outfit. But these ones are a little bit different. These are low rise as well, but they have a shorter crotch, which I feel like is more flattering if you don't want to look so incredibly oversized, but you still want to look a little bit relaxed. I feel like these are definitely more girlier on the girlier side but I still like the way they fit and they still drape nicely over my shoes. And these were about 45, I wanna say, because Addicted's always having a sale for some reason. Like you go on their website, they're always having like 50% off. But I got those. So now I'm just gonna run through a few places that I think that you can also find baggy jeans that I didn't list in the video or that I personally haven't been able to shop at yet. The first place is going to be Weekday. I do think that they're based in the UK, I'm not sure, but I know that they have a lot of nice oversized baggy jeans similar to the Jaded London ones. Um, and they're really nice, so that's a brand that I would recommend and I've heard good reviews about. The next one would be EB Denim. This is definitely a higher price point, but if you got the shmoney, unlike me right now, I would definitely recommend. Their jeans have such a nice shape and just the way that they do like the color grading of the jeans everything it's so good so amazing once i get some money i'm definitely going to invest in a pair the next place would be lioness they have really nice super low-waisted baggy jeans i've also heard good reviews about this brand i just personally haven't been able to shop there yet but i definitely will when i get the chance um the next place would be motel rocks if you are a little bit more reserved and relaxed in your style, like you don't want to do something super crazy oversized, I would recommend Motel because they do fit kind of similar to the Addicted jeans where they're not so baggy in the crotch area. So they're a lot more feminine, I would say. Try their, I think it's called the Low Rise Roomy jean. Super cute, super classic, would recommend. Um, on top of that, am I missing anything? I would say for statement jeans, you can try a place like The Crypt. They have a bunch of jeans with like cool details on them, which are really nice. 
um free people has some really cute jeans like with the, they have this one pair with a large cuff that i really like i personally would wear them i know people like their barrel jeans i don't know how i feel about them yet but that's also an option if you want something a little bit more on the feminine side not too tomboy-y and i can't think of anything else right now but if i do think of anything else i will definitely link it down in the description and like compile a list for you guys but yeah these are some of the places that you can shop for low-rise jeans and of course always depop ebay um secondhand designer shops all of that yeah all right, so now I'm gonna show you guys the different outfits that I styled with my baggy jeans. I don't know how many I'm gonna do as of right now when I'm sitting down recording this, but I will show you in the clips afterwards. If I don't talk about the details of each piece in my little voiceover, I'll try to make sure I put the details for each outfit in the description. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I personally rock baggy jeans and how I incorporate them into my everyday wardrobe. This first look is my favorite. It's the bad B look with the pointy heel. Going out for drinks, going for brunch. This is your vibe. My top is from Powerlia Body. It's a small brand. She makes super cute everyday stuff for women. And it's so chic. Um, my jeans are from Jaded London. My boots are from Express. And this fit is just so cute. Gold jewelry, of course, always on me. Um, the pearl ball necklace is from En Route. My earrings are from BP Jewelry. And my purse is from Parallel Studios, which is a small UK brand. This next look is my loafer look. My top is from Vicara. It's like a bra attached to the shirt, which is super fire. Jeans are from Jaded London. My loafers are from Franco Sarto. I wish they were brown, but whatever. This next look is my ballet flat look. We got the jeans from H&M, this lacy top from Motel Rocks. And I added this moto jacket just to add a little bit of edge to it. I really like this one. I think it's like the perfect combination of dainty but edgy. And it's super cute and casual, so you can wear it for a lot of different situations. And I'm loving it. And I'm wearing a necklace that I stole from my boyfriend, and that's about it for that one. For this one, this is just something fun and a little crazy with a pop of color. My top is from Pretty Little Thing, and I'm wearing it backwards. My belt is from Telfar, my jeans are from Jaded London, my hat I got from Nordstrom, and I'm wearing my Nike shocks. It's just really fun and a little crazy, and I'd probably wear it to my job since I can wear whatever I want. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I really hope that this helped you, or you at least enjoyed it. And I hope it helps you incorporate the baggy jeans into your wardrobe and I hope you learned a little bit more about baggy jeans and like the brands that carry them and everything. If you like this type of content where I'm sitting down and giving styling advice and tips, please let me know. I personally really enjoy filming this and coming up with the concept for it and I would love to keep recording these so if you're into it, please let me know. I'll definitely link every brand that I listed down in the description and any fit details i will also link down in the description um yes that's gonna be it hope you guys enjoyed this video if there's any other type of trends or fashion piece that you guys would like me to do a video on or if there's any other styling ideas you guys would like me to do a video on please let me know in the comments but other than that i hope you guys have an amazing and beautiful day thank you so much for your support and please like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.